Well, hello there and a big greetings to you. It is Matt, the real video guy here. I wanted to make this quick video for you and help some of you people out there that were having trouble with your uh, Facebook access token activation. It seems like Facebook, we know Facebook has been in the news a lot lately. It seems like they're just tightening up on some accounts. So if your account is not as liberal as it used to be or you're not getting the sort of results, what I've done is I've actually built a new tool where you don't have to create your own custom access token. And actually, this is going to make it super easy for you to set up and get running with the Video Gallery Pro. So let's, uh, let me actually show you how to do it and then I'll show you how to update your existing package. This will be available in version 1.0.2. I already uploaded it yesterday and if you've already got it installed, you can actually update it, update it from the plugins page so you don't have to download and re-upload anything. So let's take a look at this new tool that um, enables you to skip the whole Facebook access token uh, procedure. Let's jump on the computer screen here. So here we can see I'm logged into my Video Gallery Pro and under the settings menu I've gone to Video Gallery Pro and from here basically you've got the activate your license and if you ever need to update your license or you don't see the different tools that you've purchased in your package then you can just come here and activate the license now my mine's already been activated and we're here to fix up the facebook access token issue so here's step two app setup so down previously, we've just had the Facebook app ID and app secret as an option where you would actually enter the Facebook app ID and app secret and you'd need to generate these from Facebook developers. But now we've got a much, much, much easier option here called the quick and easy access token. And all you need to do is just click that and follow the prompts and it'll actually go ahead and do it for you. So let me just see how we go if I can do this right in front of you. I'm giving that a click and just waiting a couple of seconds. And it's just asking me to log into Facebook. You might already be logged in so you won't get this window. And now it's brought me back and now it says I've got a valid access token for 59 days. That's the longest we can generate an access token. An access token basically it's nothing too fancy. It's just an authentication process uh, for you to be accessing those videos that play in your video galleries. And to renew or refresh this access token you can just come back here and give that a click again and it's going to refresh it for another 59 or 60 days. So now with that set up, for it to be active, just make sure you don't have any values in the Facebook app ID and the app secret. These custom options will override the access token we've just set up. So for instance, if I enter values here, you can see here it dis disables this one here and uh, it says option two is active which is this one here using your own facebook app now you might want to use your own facebook app and you you can still do that i just wanted to add this new tool here and um, i think it should be fine for you if you are removing facebook app and secret ids go ahead and make sure you save changes and now we don't have any facebook app id we've got no app secret let's go and see if our galleries are working i've got a comedy one here so let's preview the gallery so there we go We've got it working now without having to use an app ID and an app secret. And hey, if you are an advanced user, feel free to use your own app ID and app secret. Oh, and before I forget, let me just super quickly show you how to update the package for WordPress admin. If you've already gone ahead and installed the Video Gallery Pro, then all you need to do is head over to the plugins page 
and here we can see Video Gallery Pro. There's a new version available. If you don't see this notice here, then just go ahead and click Check for Updates and wait about three seconds. And then all we need to do is click this Update Now. And it will go ahead and update the package for you automatically. And it's done. And if you have any trouble, don't panic. You know, sometimes with software, sometimes technology, things don't always go exactly for everybody the way they should. But we will get you sorted out and we'll get anything figured out. Uh, that's a problem. There's always a way around these things and there's always some type of solution that's going to work in the end. Matt the Real Video Guy here, over and out.